Hello and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. My name is Benji and today I'm here to show you five tips regarding the quick play spell card Book of Moon. It's a very simple card. It has the effect to target one monster on the field, that's yours or your opponent's, and to place it into face down defense position. This card is seen play in multiple formats. For the many years it's been released for, this card's at least 20 years old. And you've probably used it or seen it used against you if you've been playing for a while or if you've been playing recently in Master Duel. So I'll try and address tips that are relevant to old school players and current players so that you can make proper decisions whether you want to play this card in your deck for the current format. The first tip regarding Book of Moon is that it's very useful during the battle phase. If your opponent happens to have a monster with a very large attack value, you can simply use Book of Moon on it to put it into face down defense so you can attack over it. Cards like Nibiru have 3000 attack but only 600 defense. Unfortunately, this card is not particularly useful against link monsters as they can both not be placed into defense position nor can they be placed face down. So it's probably more likely that you'll be using your Book of Moon against monsters that are not already Link monsters, monsters that are going to be used for the Link Summon of a Link monster. In addition to placing big monsters face down so that you can attack over them with low defense, you can also use them when your opponent declares an attack against your monster. If your opponent tries to attack your monster, you can set it face down with Book of Moon, and because the monsters declared an attack, it will no longer be able to be flipped face up this turn, as monsters cannot change their battle position manually during the turn that they've declared an attack. This actually prevents your opponent from using it for Link Material, XZ Material, uh, Synchro Material. You can use Book of Moon to prevent your own monsters from completing attacks. If you expect your opponent's monster to get bigger for some reason, you can book your own monster, putting it face down defense position, preventing its attack from continuing. This can also be useful if your opponent plays some old school cards like Mirror Force or Magic Cylinder. So by placing your monster face down, it will not be destroyed by Mirror Force and you will not have your battle negated because a monster that's in defense position can't be, attack can't be negated and you won't be taking damage from that battle from a Magic Cylinder. This particular tip isn't useful against cards that might be used in the damage step, things like a Forbidden Droplet or Dynamorphia Rextrum, which can modify your attack values during the damage step. It'll be a little too late to use Book of Moon as it doesn't meet the qualifications of a card that can be used during the damage step. So that's our first tip, and our second tip is that monsters that are face down cannot be used as material for the summon of Link Monsters, XZ Monsters, Synchro Monsters, although they can still be used for things such as Fusion Summons, as well as being tributed for cards that don't specify that the card they're tributing must be face up. So if your opponent's playing something like Fallen of Albaz and they normal summon it and they activate its effect to try and fuse with one of your monsters, you could still use Book of Moon in a proactive manner. You can flip one of your monsters face down so it can't be fused with. Your opponent can't fuse with your face down monsters, even though they can fuse with their own face down monsters. Unfortunately, this particular line that stops them from fusing with your monster isn't useful against things like Super Poly because you can't respond to Super Poly. Although if you're a Master Duel player currently, Proto Plant Verte Anaconda is still legal, and if they were to send Super Poly off of Verte Anaconda, you can Book of Moon your monster so that it will not be usable for their Super Poly, as you can respond to Verte Anaconda, even though you cannot respond to Super Polymer. Our third tip is using Book of Moon proactively when you start your turn. Try and turn off your opponent's continuous effects, or to bait out their negates. Now, their continuous effects cannot be applied while the card is face down, so if you use this on something like Kestira Arise Heart, cards will suddenly be able to go to the graveyard, which might be particularly useful for your deck. It also might be something you can do against Jinzo if your opponent's playing a Jinzo and trying to turn off your trap deck. I hear Sprite can summon Mannequin Cat and use it to summon Jinzo out of their deck, turning off a trap deck. So if your trap deck is playing something like Book of Moon, you can use it to simply flip their Jinzo face down so that all of your trap cards will continue to work. Our fourth tip is that there is a list of things that monsters forget when they're flipped face down. One of those things are lingering effects that apply to those monsters, such as being negated. So if your opponent were to summon Luandari's Robina and then you activate Effect Veiler, they can chain Book of Moon to flip their monster face down to one dodge Effect Veiler. But secondly, if you were to then chain another Effect Veiler and negate the Robina, by the time it's flipped face down, it's no longer negated because it forgets that it was negated. This is a pretty common and funny play and it confuses lots of duelists. So if your monster is flipped face down, even if it was negated while it was on the field, it will no longer be negated with one or two exceptions being that if the card is negated by something that affects cards with that name, such as Called by the Grave or Cross Out Designator, then the monster will continue to be negated because it's not being directly negated by a targeting effect. Or even a non-targeting effect like Skill Drain would not apply to a monster that's face down, but Called by the Grave and Cross Out Designator would still negate a monster even if it's face down. Book of Moon is often used to play around cards like Skill Drain that only affect monsters that are face up. It also works against things like Dimensional Barrier. If you already have an XZ monster like Kestira Arise Heart and you want to use it to banish a card face down, you can chain Book of Moon, flip your monster face down, and it's no longer affected by Dimensional Barrier as it references that it only negates face up monsters. And the last tip is just a couple of strange things regarding face down monsters that you might need to consider because of rulings and other things that have come up. 
One is that if you have a guardian chimera and you summon it without using polymerization of graveyard, so it could be targeted and your opponent were to book of moon it, the question becomes, will its effect be able to resolve because certain types of properties of fusion monsters are forgotten and extra deck monsters are forgotten when flipped face down. It has been ruled as far as I know, if the monster has successfully activated its effect, it will continue to resolve as much as possible correctly, even though it might not remember what its materials were. When the effect was activated, it will know. So if you Book of Moon a Guardian Chimera, it will still know whether the monsters that it was used to summon itself were used, were used from the hand and or the field. So the effect will resolve as normal. A strange one you'll have to ask your head judge regarding is on Sprite Sprint which has an effect to detach a material from an XZ monster you control to target a, to bounce a monster that's when a monster is special summoned. Now on the OCG version of Sprite Sprint, it does not specify that has to be an XZ monster that it detaches a material from. And I believe it's been ruled that way at YCSs that you can do this. So you might want to double check with a head judge, but in the OCG Sprite Sprint can be used even if your XZ monster you intend to detach from is face down. The same thing applies for a Gigantic Sprite. In Gigantic Sprite specifically does not specify to detach a material from an XZ monster, just to detach a material, an XZ material on the field. This also applies to something like Time Thief Winder, whose effect also allows you to detach a material from a monster to special summon itself. One last thing to know is if your monster has once per turn effects and they are soft once per turns, if your monster should be flipped face down, it will forget that it's used its effect and it'll be able to do so again once it's flipped face up once again. So if you have a Baron de Fleur, and it's already popped a card or it's already used its negate. If it gets flipped face down and it's flip summoned, it'll then be able to use its effect again.